Hi, and welcome back to Not Hypnotized, everyone. I'm glad to see you back. If you're new, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. As you know, this is the show about good health. So today we are going to go through some supplements you need to build muscle. And uh, as we know, it's really a lot of supplements out there and 80% of them does really not help with nothing. Uh, so we are going to go through some of them that really are helping and actually are working and it's good for you. So uh, first off we got <coughs> magnesium and a lot of us out there get uh, too little magnesium in our bodies uh, and magnesium is super important to have in your body if you are working out or if you are really active because you are sweating out the magnesium and you also are urinating out the magnesium so you really need uh, the magnesium for muscle repair and you really need to take some magnesium post-workout to restore your magnesium in your body uh, this is important to do every day you need between 200 and 400 milligrams a day as I said because you are sweating it out you are urinating it out and if you are lifting weights then it's really important because you are using up your magnesium every day that's just how it is a lot of us don't have it so get it in it's really important for your muscle recovery uh, or there are different good uh, magnesium and some of them are magnesium chloride, magnesium lactate, magnesium gluconate and magnesium aspartate. Uh, the one I use is actually magnesium citrate. Uh, that's the I would say that's the greatest one of them all. Uh, and one not to go for is the magnesium ox oxide. Uh, Stare away from the magnesium oxide because the stomach doesn't it just go through your system you can't take it up that good so uh, try to aim for the citrate the magnesium citrate uh, because that's good for the body you will take up the magnesium and really use it uh, so uh, have a look at for the citrate and the chloride and the lactate and the gluconate and the aspartate uh, of course uh, Next off we got L-carnitine, uh, this is really good to decrease muscle soreness, it's good for muscle repair, uh, so if you are lifting heavy of course L-carnitine is really good for you, um, it can relieve muscle injury too, that's a good thing if you are working out hard and often you will get some injuries. That's just how it goes. Um, so it's really good for recovery. Uh, some L-carnitine. It's really, really good for recovery. It also helps uh, oxygen, oxygen and blood supply to muscles. So it's good for the whole system and the blood and the oxygen to get it in the muscles. You know we need that to make them grow. Uh, because with the blood comes the nutrients that you are eating and it will feed the muscles as you know when you're getting the pump so really important L-carnitine is really great so a lot of research showing that it really helps so uh, that's a, a good one for all of you uh, you need about 2000 milligrams Post workout is the best, so 2000 milligram a day and do it post workout. Uh, look, the the muscle is like a sponge after a good heavy workout. Okay, so almost every nutrient out there is really good post workout because the body will just absorb everything like crazy. So uh, post workout is really, really the most important time to get in your nutrients especially the muscle building nutrients uh, so yeah next off we got creatine and of course as we all know creatine is the most research supplements out there we know it helps we know it's good uh, i love creatine uh, you, all you guys should really take it 
Uh, some say uh, take it a period and then get off and then get on again. I'm not one of them. I really think you should be on it every year and all year around because it's so great for a lot of things in your body. Uh, it's it's not only increases strength, it increases muscle growth, it reduces muscle damage, it assists with recovery um, and uh, Research is also shown to shown the creatine to work better post uh, workout, and that's for the same reason. It's because then you are like a sponge; you go into recovery. It helps muscle growth and everything. So take it after your workout. You need about five grams a day. I know in the build-up phase, I can read on the boxes. It's it's it wants you to take 20 milligrams a day for the first days and stuff, but it can be a problem with your stomach. So if you have some problems in the first week with the 20 milligrams a day, I mean grams, sorry, you need five grams a day. So on the bottle, it's it's uh, I think it's like 20 grams a day in the building building up phase or what it is. Uh, just take five and it will take a little bit longer time but you will not have some problems with your stomach as a lot of you are having when you are taking 20 grams it's just too much you can it's not good for the stomach so try to stick with the five grams a day it will maybe take three weeks four weeks to get the perfect amount around in the body but whatever we got time don't we uh, and also a thing to mention is that it's a lot of creatine out there today a lot of fancy names and stuff and they are expensive a lot of them I will say the most research is of course as you maybe know the creatine monohydrate it's also cheaper so uh, stick with the old good one we know that's a great one okay monohydrate so we got ashwagandha uh, this is something I recently start eating. Uh, it's the same there, it's a lot of research uh, to show that it's really working good for your body. Uh, the best thing about ashwagandha is that it really helps against stress for your nerve system and everything. And when, you're, when you are working out heavy, you are really stressing the nerve system. So of course for muscle growth this is really good. It's stressed down and it's lower your bad stuff that stress up your body so you will grow faster and better and of course the stress is the number one uh, muscle killer with sleep so uh, ashwagandha is good to relieve some stress and really calm down after workout it's good for post workout too uh, you need about 600 milligrams a day um, of course and remember use it after the workout okay uh, next off is casein protein uh, the good thing about casein I will say it's better than whey and that's because uh, it's slowly it's slowly taken up in the body so when you are drinking it it really fill you up so you won't get hungry that fast and it also slowly helps with the muscles and it stay there for a longer time and feed the muscle all the time so it's really good for that uh, it's super good for recovery as we know um, it really builds up even though you are eating a lot of protein it's good to take a shake too because then you are building up more protein around the muscles then you are breaking down and then you will grow faster that's just how it is so uh, it's nothing bad with a shake on top of the food or between the food or right after the gym try to really get it in post workout and try to get it in within an hour after your workout okay because then your body is like a sponge it just sucks up everything so get it in half an hour to an hour okay that's the best uh, next off we got fish oil uh, fish oil is extremely good for you uh, we really need it for the brain, the muscle, the whole body um, also a good thing to take post-workout 
uh, it's a really good source of omega-3 fatty acids that we all need uh, it really helps with muscle growth and stuff like that it improves muscle exercise performance muscle growth and lean body mass it reduces inflammation and cortisol while increasing testosterone and uh, we all want to increase the natural testosterone to build some muscle that's just how it is uh, it's also good to take it with a source of another source of fat uh, so the body can take it up easier it's really really a lot better if you are taking it with another fat source so think about that maybe an avocado or something like that so that's some points I got today these are some some good tips if you want some helping supplements it's a lot of supplements out there that you really don't need all the BCAs and that stuff you don't need that, it's too expensive. You get that in your food and your protein shake because the protein shake are packed with amino acids so you don't need to drink that in another drink, okay? It goes for a lot of the supplements out there. We really don't need it. We get it in the food, we get it in the shakes, we get it in the other stuff. Uh, the one I really gotta stress the most is the magnesium, you know? We got two to little amounts of magnesium in our bodies uh, that goes for all my pals and everyone I see around me they think about all the other stuff but not the magnesium and it's really important for muscle recovery and to build muscle uh, and for the body when you're working out you need it every day if you're working out heavy so think about it okay and as I mentioned get the citrate and not the oxide okay uh, a lot of us is out there now training hard because the summer is coming so it's really the race for the beach now so uh, this is why I made this video so you guys can get some good tips on some supplement that's really are working and that's good for your muscle recovery and muscle building uh, like and subscribe to support the channel uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one